Today is the day that Marty McFly went back to the future. Happy Back to the Future Day. What tech do we have now? Hey everyone, thanks for coming by D News today. I am Trace and this is my buddy Norm Chan from Tested. I'm so excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Of course. I asked Norm to come over because Tested covers a lot about geek culture and technology and today is a very special holiday. That's right, 30 years ago today, Doc Brown sent Marty McFly forward in time to save his kids in Back to the Future Part 2. After the internet tried to trip us up with those photoshopped versions of the time circuits over the years, we finally arrived at the real day, October 21st of 2015. It seems crazy. The future really is now. And what a weird, awesome future it was. Totally. So Norm and I are gonna break down the tech that we do have, the tech we don't have, the compromises that we made on some of those things. For example, when Marty gets fired by Mr. Fujitsu and Needles calls to gloat, we got like FaceTime from the future. Well, kind of. FaceTime, Hangouts, Skype, and a bunch of other video calling technologies exist right now, but not quite in the way it was envisioned in the film. We communicate on high resolution displays that fit in our pocket, not on giant rear projection televisions in our living room. Something they sorta of got right were, well, holograms. Marty is nearly swallowed up by that holographic shark as an ad for Jaws 19. And while we're not still quite in a world filled with holograms, we do have lots of emerging technologies like virtual reality, 3D movies now, and even augmented reality. Microsoft's HoloLens and the startup Magic Leap are both working on augmented reality gear that will put virtual objects in our field of vision in the real world. This seems more of a reachable future than three-dimensional, actual touchable holograms, by the way, but we do have some holograms out there. Futurist Ray Kurzweil has been doing holographic lecturing since way back in 2005, but it's got some caveats. He has a studio in his home that broadcasts his holographic image via a very high bandwidth internet connection to a special podium in an auditorium that also has to have a high bandwidth internet connection. It's kind of clunky. And Kurzweil's system was made by a company called Teleport Tech, and it works like an arcade video game from the 90s or early 2000s, or if you recall, that Tupac hologram from Coachella mm. in 2012. One technology that fans of Hollywood's version of the future really can't wait for and consider a benchmark for how far we've come along is, of course, the flying car. Right. Let's say it together. Okay. Where's, Where's my, my flying, flying car? car? Norm, we can't even drive on two dimensions. I just want to point this out before we get into this. Why would three dimensions be better somehow? That's a very fair point, but come on, flying cars. In the movie, Doc Brown outfits the DeLorean to fly in the skyways of 2015 Hill Valley. But it turns out that getting a car to fly is no simple technological task. Inventors have been experimenting with ideas like transforming gyrocopters, which can convert from a motorcycle into a flying gyrocycle on the fly to avoid traffic jams, but they're still in the road testing phase and far from zipping across our skies. We might be able to use hover cars in the future, but flying ones are still kind of for crazy people. Hover cars would use giant superconducting magnets to float on a cushion of basic physics, like a maglev train. Part of the problem, though, is undoubtedly the lack of a Mr. Fusion. Fusion is still mostly resigned to the inside of stars, sadly. But we'd also need room temperature superconducting magnets to float on and infrastructure upgrades akin to the largest thing that the United States or maybe the world has ever built to completely upgrade every road across the US so that we could float on it, probably not gonna happen. But since we're talking about superconductors, that brings us to another fan favorite technology from that fictional future, the hoverboard. So let's say that together again. Okay. Where's, Where's my, my hoverboard? hoverboard? I would actually really like one. We've got a whole episode about the newest attempt at a hoverboard. It's back from August 2015, check that out. What do you guys think? What tech were you hoping that we invented before this Hollywood future arrived? Tell us down in the comments. So, not exactly tech. I mean, clearly the clubs being in the running for the World Series is pretty great because they won the World Series in Back to the Future. That's pretty awesome. But either way, check out Norm's channel as well. Norm, where can they find you? They can find us on Tested.com on YouTube or find me at nchan on Twitter. Great. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Thanks. for talking tech. Thanks Good for fun. watching. The future.